What's good, everybody? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of the Celebrity Junk. Let me first by say by saying this: um, being successful and being popular, which are two things I, I've, I've not experienced. I'm just broke. Uh, but let's just say, for example, you're able to do that. And then people want to get to your level. And if they cannot get to your level, let's say they're close, very few people will admit that the reason why they are dusty and broke is because of them, all right? They will then blame others. Now, could there be truth that people can try to ruin your career or ruin your name? Yes. That happens in business. It happens in, in any industry that has money involved in it. But I want to talk about this particular guy who was on American Idol. Now, he's an American Idol contestant, former American Idol contestant by the name of Joshua Ledette. All right. And he's going to make some interesting allegations against former judge Jennifer Lopez and R&B singer Chris Brown. OK, now I want to read this tweet. The guy goes, Jason J. Lo and Chris Brown all played a role in me and my non-success on American Idol. They will bleep that out, uh, assaulted me, disrespected me, used drugs and alcohol to control and mess up my career. They met with underage people at a party and did a bunch of illegal stuff and still messing with my career trying to sacrifice my mind and mental so j Lel can be a billionaire and Chris Brown can be a bigger artist and Jason can be famous. God bless y'all. All right, let me, let, me just, let me just make the case here. We do have people who are conspiracy theorists and I'm not here to say all conspiracy theorists are wrong. Definitely, we talk about the plight of the black world, the plight of black America, the plight of the black community. Those conspiracy theories to me make a whole lot of goddamn sense. And a lot of sense about, you know, let's say in doing certain things um, for agendas or to be in certain fraternities to make yourself bigger and famous. It's not so far fetched. I cannot say that those things don't exist. I believe that some level of that stuff does exist, which is why you see so many guys wearing um, anti masculine wear. You see guys almost in purses. I saw Pharrell and Offset sitting by each other. They were looking like almost like wives. So I do believe to a certain degree that exists. However, I also believe this. I believe that people are losers too, okay? I believe that a lot of people are lazy. I believe that a lot of people are full of shit. I believe that a lot of people believe it is easier to point the finger at people and to blame them for your problems. Let me tell you somebody who, who who's independent. I'll, I'll name two people who have their own fan bases. One is Tariq Nasheed, organic fan base that produces volumes of things because people like what he does. I'll give you even, in my case, I believe a stronger example, Corey Holcomb. Corey Holcomb is friends with a lot of guys in the industry, okay? Kevin Hart, he talked about DC Young Fly. Corey Holcomb doesn't get the same kind of publicity that these guys do. But guess what? Corey Holcomb is very successful independently. Okay. You don't see Corey Holcomb upset about why he didn't get a Grammy or why he didn't get an Oscar or why he's not in the uh, America's famous top comedians. You want to know why? Because Corey Holcomb don't give a damn about that. He don't care. He's busy being successful. This guy doesn't have any evidence of success at all. I've never heard of this guy, never. This person is saying that these people have messed up his career. You're having a mental breakdown. But furthermore, it sounds like to me that you're a loser because I've never heard that about Jennifer Lopez and a lot of stuff we've heard about Chris Brown is untrue. If it was true, how many people would have went to the police to get these guys money? in this day and age. The fact is for a lot of people, 
you are where you are in your life right now because of one person, you. God gives us all the same 24 hours in a day. He gives us the same ability to have impact on people's lives. And most of you have a lot of talent. I believe the best YouTubers are the ones that never created a channel. We will never know who they are because they're not focused enough to stay on one thing. They can't get their life together. And whenever they can't get their life together, it's a bunch of excuses. I can't do this. I can't do that. Well, this person is, shut up. Why didn't you do what you were supposed to do? If Jennifer and Chris Brown, you said ruin your name in the industry, here's something that's for sure. If you had an independent fan base, they would have to recognize you. I'm gonna give you a good example right now. Let me name some people that did that. Too Short. Too Short is the father of selling tapes out the trunk in the bay. That culture got him, I believe, a big deal. I wanna say, was it Jive Records? I wanna say it was Jive. I gotta double check that. But Too Short, then after that, we had E40. E40 selling out the back of the trunk, okay? Then after that, we knew somebody who did what? Took it to another level. Master P bought a record store in Richmond, was using his own barcode scans to get his music. Then who else we saw? California influence about the South, cash money. People wasn't dealing with cash money like that. And, it, and it, no, nobody wanted to, to, to deal with them. They made themselves popular. Uh, Afrobeats as a genre. And people used to, talk, used to talk crazy about Afrobeats when you first heard it. I, I was like, what is this? I first heard it, start hearing it in 2018. I was like, what are these guys saying? I, 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 like, the, I like the music, what are they saying? Guess what? Afrobeats is a worldwide phenomenon now. I just called SPK yesterday. He's living in the States. And a DeVito song was in the background. And, and I think he's living somewhere. I think he's in Los Angeles right now. So when you are determined to make something of yourself, it's very difficult for people to stop you. And one of the reasons why is because people just don't have time to worry about your broke ass every day. They just don't, okay? They don't. It's been people here on YouTube that have blown up before me, done very well, better than me. I'll name a few right now. Kevin Samuels, um, Media Tourism Reviews, the lead attorney. You never hear me sit back and say, well, you know what? Those guys are not doing good because of X, Y, and Z. Or I didn't do that because whatever. No, I got every opportunity that anybody else has. And once guys start, stop talking like this idiot, I don't. I believe that what he's saying is not true. I believe it in some cases that it, it could be true. But with no proof, no evidence, and a failed career, and a lack of ambition, which is probably the case, you are where you are right now, which is nowhere. Stop feeling sorry for yourself. Stop feeling sorry for yourself. You didn't make it, something didn't happen for you in life, try again, okay? It can get better, trust me. But stop feeling sorry for yourself. Stop lying to yourself. Stop blaming other people for where you are right now. Stop blaming black men or blaming black women or blaming the white men. How about you blame yourself? And from there, we can go forward. But guys, what do you think? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity John. Appreciate you follow you, subscribe to the bell. We're out.